welcome to another Sustainable YXC video. My name is Natasha and I'm joining you from my home, which is located on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. Today I'm sharing with you another um, sustainable action that you can do at home. Uh, this one requires a little bit, um, maybe not specialty supplies, some very minimal amount of supplies. Uh, and what we're doing today is visible mending. So the supplies that will that you would need at minimum would be um, a needle with a large eye, so an embroidery needle or something similar, some embroidery thread, a pair of scissors would be handy, even if it's not fabric scissors, pins would be handy, um, and scrap material, and of course, an item to repair if you want to do it at home. So visible mending has been around for a very, very long time, uh, and the most most more, the most recognized um, traditional form would be the Japanese uh, mending tradition of sashiko and boro. So the library does have a bunch of books on these. Here's one. And here's another one that does talks about both methods. Um, and basically this method uses uh, typically white or blue thread uh, and does a bunch of very fine um, small hand stitches over top of a patch to make a pattern. Like I said, they're very traditional, um, but you'll come across this, across this online a lot when you're looking at mending projects. Uh, but it can be a bit intimidating if you're new to sewing like I am. So I, I've taken a bit more of a liberal approach to this. And I'm doing just the general visible mending, uh, which is just hand sewing using thicker thread in a way that you can tell it's been mended. So here's a book the library has on visible mending called visible mending um, and if you look closely at the image you can see that there's some patches on top there's some um, just kind of reinforcing stitches patches underneath but in each case you can see the hand stitching that occurred so this is a really good book for that it has step-by-step -step guides and some other unique techniques like um, how to make your own patches and even um, stamps if say you had a bad stain on a shirt and you wanna you wanna keep wearing it, you can maybe make your own fabric stamp and kind of camouflage it, which is a really neat idea. And also um, this darning method for um, kind of knit materials, which is really nice. Um, but the the thing I love most about visible mending is you can be very creative and if you make mistakes, that's kind of the beauty of it. So that's the approach I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna do my attempt at hand stitching and I'm going to make mistakes, but I'm going to have a piece of clothing after that's very unique and usable when before it's a pair of jeans has big holes in the knees. It was very hard to wear them when it was very chilly out in the winter. So now I'll get to wear them longer and I'll um, I'll have something that I made myself added onto them. So I'll show you that now. And when we're done, I'll show you what the pair of jeans looks like at the end and just a few more resources.
So that was my attempt at visible mending, and I'm really happy because now my jeans don't have big holes in the knees. Many of you probably are even more talented at sewing, and if you are, I can't wait to see the type of things you're able to create, and maybe you can share your skills with those around you. Here's a good book um, that's just very enjoyable to read that the library has as well. It's called Mending Life, and it uses beautiful illustrations um, to kind of go through the technique of some of these projects uh, and it's very versatile it's, but the best part of this book for me is actually these little anecdotes in the center um, kind of throughout the book that talk about kind of memories and experiences that the authors have had with mending one of them and the very last book uh, that gets into the why we should mend is this one it's called The Conscious Closet by Elizabeth L. Klein and it does a really good job of telling you um, what to look for if you're going to purchase new. But also it emphasizes how to kind of go through the clothes you already own um, and see what you can do to make those last longer. Uh, maybe how you could mend things. And, and it also talks about why thrifting is important if you are going to buy new. And of course the ethics of clothing, how it's produced both environmentally and socially. So how workers are treated, which countries um, maybe have better regulations for that. and uh, kind of just the total um, footprint of clothing. So this is a really great read to talk about why we should mend things. And I hope you check it out. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day.